Hey YouTube, what you, what's going on? This is Super Yoshi Brothers 64. Now, real quick, in case you're wondering why they're heartless here again and why my health is so low, I my recording on my audio did not record, and I had done some stuff, only a little bit of stuff before I realized it. Now, real quick, there will be two treasure chests up here. One containing a mega potion, the other a mithril shard. I just wanted to point that out real quick. So now I'm gonna just get out of here before I get killed because Don and Goofy are both dead and I'm low on health. No, I don't wanna fight! I don't wanna fight! No, you take my lunch money! Just kidding. Now I get to the camp. Heartless, crap, crap, roll, roll, get away! Real quick, YouTube, I'm going to just teach y'all a little trick. Oh, crap. I can't teach y'all anything. But, okay, I'm going to explain it to you real quick, and I'll show it off at a later time in the game. Now, in this room, you know why white mushrooms appear. The way this game is set is, in order for an enemy set to appear, the previous enemy set must be defeated. So... You must defeat all Heartless in this room, so that means you have to run around this side, make Heartless appear, kill them. Run over here, make Heartless appear and kill them. And run over here, make Heartless appear and kill them. Then, travel two rooms away. At least. You can go all the way across the world and come back, but you have to move at least two rooms away. When you come back to this room, the mushrooms should appear. If not, you can just repeat it. You can just retry it. Make sure you kill all the enemies. You can do that to manipulate the game and make mushrooms appear. When the white mushrooms appear the first time, I should have known they would appear because I cleared out the heartless that were in this room and I went quite a bit away. So, now that I've explained that real quick, let's move over here and see where that gun shop came from. A pipe? Welcome to Zabor. This fight will begin the enemy bio. Zabor is not a tough fight, but he has more health than he did before, so this could, can become a little difficult. Just take him out with some fire magic and some aggressive attacking, and he shouldn't be too much. Zabor will actually dive into the thickets, the bamboos, or whatever you want to call them, and he'll hide from you a little bit during the fight. So that can actually get really annoying. Uh, he's probably gonna do it soon. Burn, baby, burn. This going to burn, oh, burn. Oh, crap. There we go. And he comes out another pot. Oh, my God. He must have super power. Crap, 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 crap. Oh, snap. That was too close for comfort. And I'm out of magic. Crap. Oh. This game. Oh, no. No. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. Very bad kitty. Really bad kitty. Oh, nice. Defense up and I learned lucky strike. Nice. Yeah, bitch. Oh wait, you dizzy? You dizzy? What ho? What? Oh, boom. And what do we get for this fight? A white fang. Not a bad item. Just had to fight back a yawn right there. I wonder what's going on. Hmm, I wonder where we have to go. I'm confused. I'm lost. Well, whatever. Let's run in circles. Just kidding. You uh, you and I both know where we have to go. And wow, Sora just killing these things, isn't he? And Heartless. Whoa, Donald. Yeah, nice going. 
add on. Okay, real quick. Sora's level is 15. We now have two unused abilities. Lucky Strike, which raises the luck that enemies drop rare items. And Sonic Blade, which costs 2 MP to use. I will be showing that off at a later point in the game, when I have some extra MP. Actually, you know what? Real quick, let me see something. Uh, let's see. Raises max, e max AP. HP and strength. Inferno Band raises defense. White Fang ranges, uh, raises AP, but not enough. Um, I'll take the White Fang. Only because it raises defense too. Uh, Sora has one extra AP point. Um, I don't have time. I don't have enough. When I level up, I should have more than enough to equip one of those. So where do you think we're going? We're going to the camp, of course. And white mushrooms, awesome. I would do this off camera, but I want to show off the awesomeness of the white mushroom. Let's see what's the first thing you're gonna show. Uh, crap. I don't wanna. Thunder. Okay, that's the first thunder. I would have gotten the other one, but I couldn't see it because Don and Goofy ran away. Here. Third time. Nope. Spell we don't have yet. Spell we don't have yet. Shivering, that's for fire. Spell we don't have yet. Shivering, that's for fire. Spell we don't have yet. Sp Game. Game, stop playing with my emotions. What'd I say? Game. Shivering. <laughs> Thank you! And we get Tech 10, but not only that, we get tons of MP and we get the Thunder Earth. They also give our item known as Mystery Goo, which will come in handy later in the game. Are there any more white mushrooms on here? Yes, there are. Ooh, and disappearing. Wow. Whatever, let's go in the tent and see what's going on. What's poppin'? Hey, where's Jane? Oh, wait, no, that's Tarzan. Hey, where's Jane? What's wrong, Tarzan? Something coming. Jane, danger. Jane, near. Near treehouse. Sounds like trouble. Let's go! So uh, yeah, we you know where we're going, everybody. To the treehouse. Away. Did I mention this game gets very repetitive? Power out. Die, die, die. Did I mention die, die? There we go. Oh yeah. Did I mention die, die, die? Ooh, nice. Nice one, Don. Yeah, but remember the mushroom trick I told you? The mushroom trick is actually a good way. It's actually a good way to like stock up on stuff early in the game because I actually do. There are times where I do it intentionally, but I unintentionally clear rooms of heartless. So I have unintentionally set it up for the mushroom trick, and I usually end up getting more than enough stuff for. Uh, what's it called? For uh, yeah, uh, can't talk right. I usually end up getting more than enough of the Earths for later in the game, so that I get the special thing. Cause like I said before, you learn a grand total of seven spells, and we can't make simple jumps again. All right. But again, no one ever said we could make special jumps. So, yeah, special jumps. Simple jumps is what I meant. The board's finally taken down. Finally. Now we can go swinging pointlessly, or we can just climb right up here, which is where we need to go. Climbing trees, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Charles and just be like, oh, I don't want no I don't want no scrubs. Now, what well, they're talking about this big black fruit. See, what you can do, like I, me, you can just come over here, fight some heartless for a little bit, or if you're on a YouTube time limit like me, you can just go to town on this black fruit. Although I do, I usually do take out some heartless just for some quick experience. But oh, thank you, Goofy. Especially when Donald and Goofy, especially because of the fact that Donald and Goofy are both pretty useless. And it's over. That fast. Gorilla's trap, Turk ran. We must help the gorillas. Yes, I know I only read like half of that, but okay. So here's what you want to do. You want to do nothing because you can just want to be like, screw the gorillas. Screw the rules, I have money. Hmm. Well, I actually don't have as much time as I'd like, so... Guess what time it is? It's... It's... Uh, ending time. So this is Subiyoshi Brothers 64. Reminding you guys that I can't talk to save my life, and why am I ending like Mega Freak 400? Yeah. So, uh, I'll see y'all next episode of Let's Play uh, Kingdom Hearts.